what's up it's me Charlotte thanks for pulling up to the gifted lane channel much appreciate it before we get into today's curiosity because we're all about cultivating curiosity here please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel tap the bell icon so that way you can get notified when I drop content so today's curiosity what is it basically I thought it would be cool to share how I like to pretty much filter my Twitter timeline so that I'm really mostly only seeing tweets about what it is I'm currently studying. And these days that happens to be the cloud, specifically AWS. And so I have my to the cloud list pinned to the top of my Twitter timeline. First thing I see is Ms. Wire talking about his day 30 for his 100 days of code with Python, which is cloud. And then we have Andrew sharing some good tips for, you know, people who are looking to become a cloud engineer. And, you know, the fact that you may want to brush up on creating diagrams. So he's sharing good tips about that. So filtering my timeline like that is exactly how I was able to find the cloud resume challenge. Now, if you have not heard about that from Forrest, that's cool. I'm actually gonna do a detailed video about it soon. I need to finish doing it, but you can actually use it for Google Cloud, Azure, and AWS. And it's a really great way if you're not even sure how to get started learning cloud because it will take you through your paces. So for AWS, it walked me through or it challenged me to create a S3 bucket and host a static site from it, apply SSL to it. There was Python and using Lambda functions. There's automating a CI CD pipeline for both the front end and the back end of the website. And it also gets you to write a blog post describing basically your whole learning journey of going through this challenge. But enough of that. Let's actually get our list end up to the top of our timeline. I am doing this on mobile, but the stuff should be pretty much the same on the desktop. So the first thing you want to do is actually tap on your profile picture and then tap on list. Now on the next page, you should see either lists you have created or lists that you're following. If not, um, it's going to give you some suggestions. So fun story. <laughs> I actually have one list that is not public. It is my keep up with list because I come across people, you know, they'll post something that I find interesting. And before I follow them, I like to follow their tweets for a while to try to minimize me, um, you know, unfollowing people because they said something stupid. <laughs> okay, I do have public lists, like if you're into Cisco DevNet, I have the DevNet Advocate, I have Network Automation, Tech Life, and of course I have the To The Cloud one. So if you're looking for a cloud peeps to follow, definitely feel free to follow my To The Cloud list. That's the one I'm actually going to pin to the top to, you know, filter my timeline to be about cloud so tap the little pin icon next to the list that you want to pin at the top and now when you go back to the home page you see it up at the top tap on it first thing cloud part and <laughs> i don't even know how you go about mapping jurassic park to the cloud but bart has done it and it's been super entertaining <laughs> and there's also bart with a pizza so you get like nice little you know study breaks you know like in between your focus time but yo know, this is like just one of those study hacks i have to just stay motivated all right that's all i got <laughs> class is over for today i like to keep it short but I really appreciate you stopping by, checking out the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, tap on the bell icon. That way you'll get notified when I drop more content. And just know I'm rooting for you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by.